Now that we have our WAMP server installed on our computer, if we click on the WAMP server icon and go to PHP My Admin, you can see that we haven't been asked for username and password. This is what we're going to change now. If you open My Computer and navigate to the folder where you've installed your WAMP server, which in my case is D Drive WAMP, then if you go to Apps folder and PHP My Admin, you'll see the file called config.ink.php. Open this file in any text editor or Dreamweaver, which is what I'm going to do. We are going to slightly amend the content of this file. If we scroll to the line 45 with the blowfish secret, in between the quotes, type any kind of word you want. I'm going to type whatever. Then if we scroll down to the line with authentication type and change config to cookie. You can now save the file and close it. Close all other folders. This time, if we refresh the my, uh, PHP My Admin page, you will see that we are prompt for the username and password. Now, if we type root, which is a default username for the MySQL uh, database server, without any password and click on go, you can see that we've accessed uh, the server again. Now, providing just the username isn't a very secure way either. So obviously what we need to do, we need to define a password for, uh, for the username. If we click on the, on the WAMP server icon again, and this time go to MySQL, MySQL console, when you are prompt for the password, simply click enter because obviously root hasn't got any password yet. Now type the following. Set password for single quote root single quote at sing single quote local host single quote equals password open bracket, single quote, and now type your password, the password which you would like to use to access MySQL uh, server. I'm going simply type password for the purpose of this tutorial. Then single quote, closing bracket, and semicolon. Now click enter, and exit to exit um, MySQL console. Okay, now if we close the PHP my admin clear cache and if we access PHP my admin again this time if we only type root for the username without the password we get the narrow that we need the password as well so if we type our new password and now hit enter this time we can access our SQL MySQL server in the next section, I'll show you how to define a new site definition in Dreamweaver and how to copy all of our files to the root folder of the site.